good evening once again, ladies and gentlemen. It's me once again, Rush Dead Dixon Vixen, and tonight we, we are going to be doing a special d d a dish that everybody, it's easy to make. We are going to make, that's right, chicken pot pie. Homemade chicken pot pie. Okay, and now um, we have our, well, we'll get our, these are our ingredients that you'll see. So, um, I'm going to show you how. Uh huh. So, I'm going to show you to put, we'll put all the things together. But first, we need to preheat our oven to 375 degrees. But first, because first, we're going to make our filling. So, what the first thing we need is some um, butter. You need uh, four tablespoons of butter. And make sure they melt in the pan. Okay. Next and next, we will be adding our vegetables we're going to use. I have a minced garlic, some onion, some celery, some mushrooms, some carrots, some and some green beans and some homemade green beans. So we're going to put them all in the pan. Mm. Okay, now now our vegetables are in the pan and we're going to sweet what we want to do now is sauté it until tender. You can smell the butter. Okay. Okay, we want to let it saute a bit. So, oh, yeah, this is the front. Yeah, this is the front. I don't, I want to make sure I got it on the right burner. Okay. Um, I'm going to take one of my pie plates and what we're going to do first while the vegetables are still uh, we're, are sautéing is make like what I have here is a Pillsbury pack of two pie crusts. I was going to make some make a pie sh pie crust for you but eventually due to the time I don't think I'll but one day I will show you how to make a, a real pie crust because usually my crusts I press down on go too good, so I, mean, I bought the free, free refrigerated ones just in case. So we're gonna take one of them. Oh, you don't wanna, I don't wanna, uh oh. Okay. Okay. All right, careful so you don't tear it. Okay, and then you slowly unroll the pie crust. Believe me, this is better than the frozen pie crust. And we will gently put it around the plate. Okay. Believe me, this is going to be really, really good. Now what we're going to do is, now we're going to check on our vegetables and look how much it's sautéing.
Okay. Now we, now all the vegetables are busy sauteing. And the reason why is I was low on flour. Okay, I want to, I want to tell you something. It's going to, it's a good story, so. Uh, when I went to Fortino's on Wednesday, um, I had to, I really had to buy flour because I was really running low on flour, so. I took a bit of what I've left over and put it in a container. But when I went to buy myself a bag of flour, it came in this. <laughs> it says $2.49 for flour. So I bought a couple of a uh, couple of bins of these. So in case I run out, in case I run out um, of flour, I'll be like, okay, that'll, that'll be good enough for now. But my luck came, my luck, luck came to me today. So, because today, yeah, there was flour at Fortino's. And all, all I really want is a lot of flour because I do a lot of cooking and baking because I do love to cook and bake. It came, it was a 10 kilogram bag of all purpose, it's called uh, Baker's Pantry all-purpose flour, and this was for like uh, $7 for a 10 kilogram bag, which is so, which is a good deal. There's one that is, another one that is so huge, but I wouldn't think I would be, it was like big, like a 20 pound bag or something, but that was, it's not for me, it's more for a restaurant business or so, so. So that's my story of how I got my flour. My flower story. So, um, so eventually, um, that's how my luck turned in today. Oh, let's check and see how these are doing. Okay, make sure those vegetables are uh, trans, are sauteed very, very well. Make sure they're transparent. While they're sauteing, so I'm going to tell you another story today. I was, I was, I had my headset, Bluetooth, uh, wireless headset on while I was heading over to Fortino's, but eventually when I was crossing the street, my, uh, somehow it, it, it got shut off and I tried to put it back. I tried to, uh, went in front of Starbucks. I tried to, uh, turn on my Bluetooth, but eventually it would not turn on. So I was so frustrated that I just, I had to go into goodness me, which is a nice little store on little store downtown. So, um, Eventually, I was so frustrated, I asked the guys to help me out, and they said, I don't know what to do. Like, I didn't know what to do either. And I was just so, uh, I was just frustrated. I'm like, oh, what am I going to do now? Do I, I, should I go home and get more, get another set of headphones or something? <sighs> but eventually, um, when I was, I was in the store for like 15 minutes, then 15 minutes later, it came back on again. I don't know what happened, but I guess it was just a bit of a glitch. Well, uh, since I was in there, I bought myself some more Greek, plain Greek yogurt, which is good. And another thing I bought. I also got today uh, Green Beaver Natural Spearmint Natural Toothpaste, which because I'm almost out of toothpaste, so instead of going ordering some off Amazon, which because Amazon's really backed up now, so. And I also brought got this Jason Healthy Mouth Mouth Cinnamon Clove All Purpose Mouthwash because I'm running definitely low on on mouthwash, so um, like it's. It has, it's all natural, it has no alcohol and no saccharin. 
and this is all natural too. It does not contain fluoride or trilosan, sodium lauryl sulfate, carrageenan, GMO, artificial flavors or dyes, chemical preservatives, or artificial sweeteners, which is amazing. Which is which is awesome. So eventually, yeah, you know, because I'm trying to avoid aluminum, I'm trying to avoid fluoride and everything. Yeah, just to make a, things a little easier. Okay, I just uh, turned the TV on because tonight is the two hour season finale of Magnum BI, which is the re the recent one. And because it's good, but it's pretty good. It's got more act a lot of action in it. Uh, the, the guy who plays Thomas Magnum, Jay Hernandez, he's a stud. But eventually, the bad, eventually, uh, but it, he will never be compared to then the original Magnum PI. But the good news is it got renewed for a third season, which is awesome. So, so eventually I'm going to cook and watch while I go along. Okay, now our, we'll see it now. See our vegetables and melted butter has melted and everything is sauteed. And now what we'll do is we add in our six tablespoons of all-purpose flour. So eventually we're going to add it in. So we add in our flour and we stir it up. So because we want to make this sauce, we're going to make the sauce for this. And then now we had our we got our uh, flour all combined in here. Now, with now our flour is all coated in the vegetables and butter. Next up, uh, we we now add some uh, organic range-free chicken broth. It's like in a container, and we gradually add it in. <laughs> and then we stir. Okay, now we are going to stir this gradually and we're going to bring this up to a boil. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to wait till this, uh, okay, we're going to have to, we're going to bring it to a boil, and we'll get into, uh, until um, this all, we'll bring this to a boil until it does, uh, till it thickens. Okay, 
Okay, I'll be back in a few minutes and we'll check on our sauce. Check on our chicken, vegetables, and gravy. Okay, our sauce is starting to thicken a bit. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. First, we're gonna add some fresh, not frozen, peas, green peas. Okay, who doesn't love green peas? Okay, put them, that's all going in the bowl. And next, we're gonna add in half a cup of uh, heavy cream. So we're gonna shake it. Okay, half a cup of heavy cream. In it goes. God, that's loud. Okay. All right, and then we are going to add in one tablespoon of parsley. This is the parsley that I uh, uh, freeze dried. I dehydrated because when I, the one thing I hate about buying fresh herbs and all that is yeah, really have to use them quickly. So, in they go. Okay. And next, we're going to add uh, some garlic powder because I just love a lot of garlic. So we're just gonna sprinkle it all in to taste. Use as much as your discretion. And next, we are going to add in some salt, some salt. Put a few shakes in there. Be honest, my God, I just got a commercial. And then we're going to add some freshly ground black, cracked black pepper. Okay, add, add as much as you as as a taste. Okay, and then we are going to stir this lovely dish. Make it all. Wow, look at that. Oh, this looks yummy. Okay. Now that we have our salt, now our we had the rest of our ingredients in. Now it's time. We put in the final ingredient. Ingredient is our chicken. Now this is uh, organic, range-free. Uh, I got this from a, from a roaster chicken. Tastes so so good. And we are gonna add this chicken into the bowl, into the pot. Mmm, it's gonna be good. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we are going to stir this together. Hey, 
looks the look oh the lovely chicken it's good the sauce is so thick This sauce is thick enough, so we're going to turn the sauce thing down. And now, now we are going to scoop up our lovely uh, chicken mixture, pot pie mixture, right into the, right into the pie crust. I'll, I'll get a ladle. Okay, we now spoon in the chicken mixture and put it in the pie crust. Okay, we are now spooning our mixture right into our uh, lovely pie crust. <sighs> we don't want to overfill it, so if you have leftovers, oh, that's great. You can either make another pie out of it, or you can, uh, or or you can like uh, make a chicken stew or freeze it and then make another pot pie. Make, make a pot pie for another time. Okay. All right, that's, so I guess this is all filled up for now. I'll pull, okay. And now, look at this. Mmm, smells good. So far, now we have our, put our pie, filling into our pie crust. We are now going to take the last of the pie crust and we're going to put it on the top. Careful not to tear the pie. Not to tear it. Careful, slowly. Got it. Okay, then we'll gently unroll again. Okay, now our Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to glue this all in.
Okay. Okay, now that our pie crust, we put our pie crust on top, we are going to do a few incisions to let the steam come out. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put an egg wash on top of the, on top of the pie crust. And all you need is one egg. and a little bit of heavy cream. Okay. Make sure there's no bad, you don't get a bad egg. Put it in. And then we'll put in a little bit of heavy cream. Okay, just a bit. And now we're gonna get our brush. One moment, please. Finally found my ba my my pastry brush. Oh, I really need to clean out my pantry one of these days. Okay, now we're gonna help our egg here. Okay, now we're going to brush our lovely pie crust. Okay, now we put have our uh, our wash on the pie crust. Make it a golden, nice golden brown. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this into the oven and bake it for 35 minutes. Wish me luck. <laughs> Now the pie's in the oven, and now I'm putting 35 minutes. Okay, when we come back, we'll see the final result. Well, uh, the chicken pot pie is right out of the oven, and it 
and look what it looks like. And you know what? I think I'm going to have a little teensy weensy piece. I don't want to eat too much because I'm kind of full of the Mexican, leftover Mexican rice. I don't know if it's a mistake eating it, but... Okay, trying to find myself a little knifey. Use a knife. I'm going to cut a little sliver. Okay. Ooh. Looking good. <laughs> wow. Now take a look at this flaky crust, vegetables and everything else. Taste. Mm. Taste, you can taste the chicken and the vegetables. Mm. Golden brown pie crust. It's worth the trick. I'll leave it out to cool, and um, then soon I'm going to put it in the fridge and make sure we get it for this week's dinners. So anyway, um, that is it for me. Um, if you have any questions about my chicken pot pie, uh, you can always uh, you can comment or subscribe to my channel. And um, so anyway... Uh, the main rule, please be respectful. So.